The earthquake rumbled and mumbled and grumbled, and then he bumped and everything tumbled. Bumpety thump, thumpety bump, houses and palaces all in a lump. Oh, what a crash! Oh, what a smash! How could I ever be so rash? The earthquake cried. What under the sun have I gone and done? I never before was so mortified. And away he fled and groaned as he sped. This comes of not looking before I tread. Out of the city and along the road he staggered as under a heavy load, growing more weary with every league, till almost ready to faint with fatigue. He came at last to a country lane, bordering upon a field of grain. And just at the spot where he paused to rest, in a clump of wheat hung a dormouse nest. The sun in the west was sinking red, and the dormouse had just turned into bed, dreaming as only a dormouse can, when all of a sudden his nest began to quiver and shiver and tremble and shake. Something was wrong and no mistake. In a minute the dormouse was wide awake and putting his head outside his nest cried, Who is it dares disturb my nest? His voice with rage was a husky squeak. The earthquake by now had become so weak he'd scarcely strength enough to speak. He even forgot the rules of grammar. All he could do was feebly stammer. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it's me. Please don't be angry. I'll try to be. No one will know what he meant to say, for all at once he melted away. The dormouse grumbling went back to bed. Oh, bother the bats, was all he said.